All of the examples on the previous slide contain sample spaces which are known as finite sample spaces. And they are finite sample spaces because if you count the number of outcomes in the sample space, in the first case we had six different outcomes, in another example we had 36 different outcomes, sometimes there were three different outcomes, but it was always some finite number of outcomes in the sample space. Well this next example is one where you don't have a finite sample space and here's how it goes. Toss a coin repeatedly until a head appears and observe the number of tosses required to get that first head. The sample space in this case is S is equal to, well let's think about each one of these, how do you have a head appear on the first trial? Well that's simply tossing a head. How about the first head appearing on the second toss? that would be a tail and a head. How about the third toss? That's tails, tails, heads. And so the question here, is there any upper bound on how many tosses it would take? And if you think about this for a minute, if you go to, for example, some large number like 35 tosses, well, there's always the chance that that first head could appear on the 36th toss. And on it goes. So even though those higher numbers are unlikely, they're still in the sample space. And so here you have an example where you don't have a finite number of outcomes. So when we classify sets, the example that we just went over of tossing a coin until a head appears is a special case of an infinite set that is known as a denumerable set. And sometimes the number of outcomes in that set is known as a countable infinity. So here is still another classification. A set is known as countable if it is either finite, like those examples on the previous page, or if it is denumerable, like the example here with tossing a coin repeatedly. Finally, one more example. Observe the lifetime of a light bulb. The sample space is S is the set of all T values such that T is greater than or equal to zero. And I included equal to zero in case you get the light bulb home from the store and you screw it into the socket and it doesn't work at all. In that case, you'd have a, a failure time of zero. Well, if you look at this particular set and ask how many outcomes are in that set, that's somehow different than this set. This set up here is a denumerable set. This one down here can be thought of as an uncountable. Set and in this case that is quite different from what we have defined here to be a countable set.